Alrighty then. This is a potato. This is a bag. And that's a peeler. And this is how you peel. Like this. Magical, isn't it? Also makes a mess. But that's the beauty of kitchen. I mean, kitchen, not kitsch. Never mind, I have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm currently making mashed potatoes. But the truth of the fact... Ew, you can see the bottom of my chin. Ignore the Chinaman down there. Yes, Chinaman, which is plural, because there's more for one them. I'm making whipped potatoes. Normally people have mashed, but I whip them into shape. Watch! Well, necessarily not whip whipping them, because I don't have um, a blender. Not a blender. Can't even think. Good grief. It's because I do not have egg beaters, like power blender. Yeah, power power blender. Like the thing that you like beat eggs with, which is electrical and like cake mix and stuff. I don't know, I just call it a whipper. Besides that, I don't have an electric whipper. I just have like a potato masher. But using the power of R and R Elbow grease, all. Oh. You can have the same effect, pretty much. Just takes a bit of energy to do. Peeling these potatoes, and then I'm gonna chop them up. One moment, I have to go turn up the water on my stove over here, and I'll show you in a moment. So, when I make potatoes, I like to get off my screen, Twitter notification. Hope that doesn't show up in the video. I don't think it will. But if it does, I won't edit it out because I have no editing software! Not to mention my also recording this on my phone. At some point, I will invest in an actual camera. Although, the iPhone 6 Plus which is my current mobile device, has an absolutely extraordinary camera. And the camera not only takes the best video quality that I can afford, which is nothing, it takes miraculous HD photos. <laughs> Jeez, that was... Everyone's a critic. Even the sink. Bloody hell! If you can hear that. It's the sound of the water ready to explode right out of the pot. Now, I'm not going to be making lots of cooking videos. I'm just doing this because I have nothing better to do and I'm supposed to be making videos. Technically vlogs. Which I haven't done in a while. Because, you know, I just haven't done it. Procrastination and all that loveliness. As well, this house is haunted. Actually, it's not. It's just really noisy. Everywhere. Live by a highway. Making a mess. Bloody mess out here! So for those of you who don't know, like, anything about me, which would be anyone who's not my friend, which is practically everyone, because I have no friends, is... I live in a house with some roommates. Normally they keep to themselves, they keep to myself. I'm a gamer. And that's all I wish to share right now. Because that's just how it is. I was going to go to the pool today. But I decided not to. Because I thought, 
watching Yu-Gi-Oh! on Netflix was more productive. Which it ended up being, look at that, flew right up to me. Instead I just stayed home, I read a book, watched some Netflix. It's quite marvellous, really. The bane of peeling potatoes is when, like, you have, like, a brown spot or, like, a black, black patch. Ow! Good thing that knife is pointed down. I have, like, no counter space in this kitchen, so I pretty much just have to make do with the little amount of space that I have. It is there. Cover up my lovely bits. Marvelous. Do you see them there? Of course you do. Mm. Put you back. Yes, my dish rack is full of dishes. My rule is... Sorry, it's inappropriate. My rule is I wash dishes, I don't put them away. It's not really a rule, I just never do. Because me personally, I only use about, well, I only use like the same dishes all the time. So if I lived in my own house, I'd probably have like three plates, a couple of forks, and a couple of knives. A couple of spoons, bowls, and a pot. A frying pan. One moment. Get it over here, adjusting the water so it doesn't explode like Vesuvius. Anyways, careful with sharp knives, children. It's not good. So you take the knife and you go, oh, and you cut it. I like to cut them in half and cut them in half again. Well, not in half, but quarter them. And I would show you, except for I have the best of filming equipment, as I said. And we're doing this the old-fashioned way, and by that we mean my way, where I'm propping it up. So, as you can see, I quartered it. See? Well, there you go. Quartered. Marvelous. There. As you can see better. Yes, I'm propping it up against it back. Don't judge me, people. I have no money. If you don't like, don't watch. Hit like and subscribe. Anyways. I can be a little crazy sometimes. But that I mean all the time. And if you don't like it, then why are you watching? So we cut these up nice and proper. Careful not to chop off your fingers, because your fingers are important, because you need them for things. Things I wish to not specify, as I would be here forever. I love a knife, sh a nice sharp knife. Unfortunately, this isn't very sharp. Fortunately, it's heavy, so I just let the weight of the blade pretty much crush its way through it. Needs to be sharpened, but we don't have a sharpener. Imagine that! Still fairly keen, of course. That's done. Knife in the sink. Flick my hands off, because that's how I do it. Flick them off. Flick them, not flip. Gosh. You people and your thingamajiggers. So, check out taters. Over here into the boiling water. Damn. I'm trying to do this with one hand and it's not working very well. Take that potato there, click it on the water. Yes, the pot only has one handle. Why? Because. Oh, because. Who knows that? Marvelous, isn't it? Watered potatoes. Absolutely outrageous. So, we did that. Marvelous. I know, there's a lot of things in there. The only thing in there that is mine is the knife. And the peeler, of course. Uh, someone else has the nose. But anyways, that's the video for now. Tutor pop.